Well, hey there, native plant enthusiasts. This is Santino, education coordinator for Bowman's Wildflower Preserve, coming at you with a really quick video today. Um, given the rise in popularity of native plantings, especially this spring, um, our nursery has been absolutely swamped with all of the support and love for native plants. So I want to give everyone a thank you for that. In addition, I want to thank all of you for your support of these videos. I've seen quite a few of you at the preserve and you've all commented how much you enjoy them. And I want you to let you know how much I enjoy making them for you. So be on the lookout now that the busyness of spring is beyond us, or at least I hope so. Um, look for more native plant videos coming out here in the future. Um, but this one is a quick one. I want to title noticing natives in your neighborhood. Um, you don't always have to plant natives in your own garden to see them. Um, lots of your neighbors are also planting native plants and I encourage you all to keep on encouraging them to do so. Um, as I was out on my, on my daily walk, I stopped and saw, I had to stop and appreciate this lovely native plant behind me. Um, because it's one of my favorites. And I promised you all some video or pictures of the blossoms um, when I highlighted this plant back in September. Obviously it was fruiting. Now we have here in the spring, the blossoms. Now, for those of you who might've guessed, this is one of my favorite native plants. This is the pawpaw. The pawpaw produces the largest edible fruit of any of our native plants. Um, and if you want a refresher on all about the pawpaw, that video will be linked here at the end um, or maybe in one of those cards up here or however that works um, in any event. So I want to showcase this particular plant. Here we go. And everyone's driving slow past me. Uh, but as you can see, the lovely purple blossoms of the pawpaw and those purple blossoms, of course, mimic the uh, coloration of rotting meat. And that's because, as I said in the other video, that the pawpaw is pollinated by flies and beetles. So for those who propagate pawpaw and like to uh, grow and harvest the fruit, one of the things that they used to do historically was uh, hang rotten meat, dead animals up around the, uh, around the plant in order to encourage more insects to be uh, attracted. So uh, luckily this particular homeowner who I'm borrowing their pawpaw for for the video is not doing that um, and I've given the lovely blossoms a sniff though supposedly they release a scent uh, that the insects can detect that reminds them of rotting meat um, I could not detect any when I gave the blossoms a good sniff so in any event um, I hope you all are loving the native plants this spring and if you happen to spot any native plants in your neighborhood uh, take a picture tag them on tag us on your socials when you post them. Um, and as always, I encourage everyone to keep on experiencing what's natural and learn what's native. Take care everyone and we'll see you all again soon.